Hey folks, it's Florida Deer. Thanks for joining me today. These are kind of like the videos that I don't like making because it's normally the correction of a mistake, but hopefully in making the video, I can help you and not make the same mistake. So because I got a little bit crazy with the grapple, I got something hung up through here and it was hitting the hood, but I didn't realize that because it was beyond my sight and went and, uh, you know, operated one of the loader functions. And the next thing I know, the hood is popping up from its spot because I broke these. These pieces are still supposed to be on the hood, obviously. So actually this whole thing is supposed to be on the hood. I kept that. There we go. So that has to be mounted to the new hood. Which but I when you're using the grapple, you just need to be a little extra careful with how that, uh, you know, what you're doing. So in order to fix that issue, I went ahead and got some more of the bits. This is what Lowe's had. I have some other ones that I think work better, but this is what they had. So we'll hopefully that'll be good. And then I'm going to drill holes to put this in there. I was avoiding this, not because the 511 is bad or anything. I'm sure it's real nice, but it was 360 bucks. So I was trying to avoid that. I kept thinking to myself, well, I'll go ahead and, you know, I'll go ahead and get some like expanded metal, have my buddy, you know, weld that uh, here, you know, and I'll be set, right? Well, I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and, uh, you know, until that boo-boo happened right there. So, uh, not so, cool. So the rest of this video, we'll go ahead and do the install on that 511 and see what it looks like after I get done. So the biggest challenge here is just getting the guard up there lined up, getting your holes marked, and then, you know, drilling through the grill guard for placement. So we'll tighten that one first. So this is an 11 millimeter wrench, and then I'll have to get back to you on what the Allen wrench is. Because I don't really even know. I'll have to put my readers on and check it. So I flashed up a picture of what I had in mind with the expanded metal. But I will say this, despite the extra cost of this 511 grill guard, this thing is substantially more tough than probably that expanded metal would ever be. So that is a consideration too. I mean, you could technically, put, you know, maybe put something through that expanded metal, but I don't think anything's going through this 511 grill guard. Hey folks, well, there's the final product. Just two bolts on this side, two bolts on this side. The biggest issue is just drilling through that thick plate you see right there. Once you get that done, it's all pretty easy. And, you know, so I would just recommend, you know, getting something on there, whether you fabricate something yourself or buy one of these or buy, you know, some competitor, if another competitor makes one, you know, get something on the front there to protect your hood, you know, headlights, grill, radiator, whatever else might get, you know, damaged by, you know, kind of what I did. I think it's the same. Okay, so now that I have the old hood off and I have the new hood, I can put the new hood on. And so hopefully this will go easily, but we'll see about that. Um, this might be something where I need to get the kids for. Like a bird on a tree 
I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free Okay, folks so we got those on we got the proper hood we have there was an issue with another hood and that squared away we got this squared away and just have to slam it just a little bit and that was that's an old thing and I was able to grab the John Deere stickers off the other hood without any issue so they fall off at some point in time maybe i'll replace them but i definitely didn't want to pay 27 dollars each for that and then i have the 511 grill guard so no more busting that hood from the front that's for sure or putting a stick or branch through the radiator or a headlight or you know grill or any of that so that thing i probably should just you know obviously spent the money ahead of time i just thought i would you know get a buddy to make one and I just never got around to it and he's busy too so that's why I didn't until it was a problem and then it was a big problem so new hood looks good I think I probably have to wax that now to kind of make it look how shiny it is and stuff so I don't know we'll see anyway if you did like the video hit the like button I'd appreciate that and if you want to follow along uh, for more one series stuff I'm doing plus my other garden tractors I have here, then you can uh, hit the subscribe button as well. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.